Good evening, everyone. This is Gary Bennett at Excel Me. Welcome to our Objective C for Absolute Beginners. We're going to be talking about what's new in Xcode 4. This is part number three. We're going to be talking about build setting, preprocessor macros, and the NS log. And I'm going to be doing that with an application that I've written in Xcode 4 that I use for my students in my class. And we're going to illustrate that with our application. So let's go ahead and hop over to Xcode with an application I've already written and I have launched here in the simulator, in the iPhone simulator. And what it does is when it launches in the load did view, I have an NS log start load view. And you can see here, um, when it um, launches, it goes to the output window starting um, load view. But that's fine when we're in debug mode, but when we release our application to the App Store, we don't want any of this information going to the individuals, all of our customers' um, iPhone um, console inside of um, inside their iPhone and taking up memory and uh, and slowing down processing. So I'm going to write a preprocessor macro that only works in debug mode and I'm going to show you how I did it. It's also going to um, pretty the function or uh, um, th um, the output a bit showing us what line it got called on and what um, object and method it was called in as well. So let's go ahead and do that and then we'll hop into our build settings and set that preprocessor macro. So the first thing I did in my um, delegate, I include um, some preprocessor macros. I say if this is in debug mode, and I'm just going to show you where I define that, if I'm in debug mode then I'm going to define a function called debug log that takes um, a set of parameters just like NS log does, except for I'm going to print the function that it was called on and the line that it was called on, okay, along with the arguments that it was put. If we're not in debug mode, then we're just not going to define anything. It's not going to do anything, all right, just what we want it to do if we're not in debug mode. All right, so that is that, and um, I am going to go ahead and change my NS log now. Before I forget, I'm going to change that, and I want to get back here to my method. I'm going to change that to debug log there. So now that I'm calling the function that I've defined. And then let's go ahead and go over to my build settings. I'm going to double click on my project. And I'm going to go to my build settings. And under preprocessor macros, just for debug, not for release, I named, I defined a argument debug mode is equal to one. Okay, so that what that does is um, uh, it tells us that debug mode is defined, is turned on, this word debug mode, uh, and it's only defined in debug, not in release, not in distribution, not in ad hoc, just in debug. So now let's run the application. And I want to make sure, let's make sure first we have our scheme right. Let's make sure I'm in deep, I'm in release. Let's change that to debug. And we hit OK. We'll run it. And yeah, 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 yeah. Let's close our simulator. And run the app. And hopefully our output we'll have a little bit more information now because we're showing what method, um, object, and what line the um, um, our output, our starting load view, got called in. And here it is. Instead of just showing um, starting load view, which is what we have right here, we're showing that this is getting called from our home view controller, which is right here, home view controller, line number 30. Well, is that right? Let's take a look. There it is, home view controller, line number 30. I got here in my gutter. I have my lines turned on and um, we're showing what we want to show. 
So how does this work if we're not in debug mode? Well, let's change our edit scheme from debug to say release, hit OK, and now run the application. Yeah, 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 yeah. And run it. And we have no output, which is exactly what we want when we're running in debug mode, distribution, I'm sorry, in release mode, distribution, or ad hoc. We don't want all that going to the council um, inside the person's iPhone. And then which they can look at in iTunes and see all your debug information or whatever you're sending to output, um, which is one, slowing down the application, taking up excess of space inside the, um, their device, and showing the user information that you probably don't want seen. All right, so any questions tonight? For those of you that are attending live, go ahead and type it in the question box and um, of your go to webinar control panel. And those that are attending the live YouTube session or the recorded YouTube session, I should say, um, you're welcome to join us every Wednesday night. Just go to excelme.com and I'll show you here in just a second where you can go and pick up and Go to these live or pick up other recordings. Just go here to YouTube or where it says free videos. And you can go ahead and register. You can uh, So you can attend for free or you can check out the past recordings and, um, and listen to them. And also be notified if you, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You get out of automatic notifications when I upload new videos, which is typically every Wednesday night. Thanks for attending, and hopefully we'll see you next week. And those of you that are attending live on the GoToWebinar session, I'll be happy to take your questions now.